And now to the women's 3,000 metres pursuit. This 1,000 metres shorter than the men, but every bit as exciting. Rebecca Twig, who comes here as the world champion on four occasions, the Olympic Games, bronze medalist last year, up against Svetlana Samokvalova. The junior world champion beats her quite convincingly in the semi-final to go through into the final. And in the other semi-final, Jenny Longo, in an all-French semi-final, three times the world champion against Marion Clignier, born in Illinois in the USA, but has joined the French team because of her French parentage. And Longo won't be happy about that because Clignier goes through into the final with the best time of 3 minutes 40.079. So we go to the final. Marianne Clignier in the back straight facing Rebecca Twig from the United States. Both girls know each other. Both girls have raced against each other before. And the start will be crucial here, I think, because pursuit racing is very much for psyching each other out as well. And on the start, Rebecca Twig has got away by over a second ahead of Clignier. A very good start indeed. Rebecca Twig has had a little time out of the sport, but came back for the Olympic Games last year, where she took the bronze medal in the pursuit. And now she's showing all of the signs as going very, very quickly again. First won a world championship back in 1982 in Goodwood, in Leicester rather, both places in England, and then in 84, 85 and 1987. And judging by the way she started here, Marion Clignier is going to have a job to get on terms with her. She's half a second off the pace at the moment. Twig comes through the home station, there's the picture. And Clignier is reducing the gap a little bit, so she's getting into a rhythm now. In fact, she's coming back very, very closely now. One tenth of a second is the gap on Twig and Clignier is making a return here at the thousand metre point. One third of the way through, they cross almost exactly together. This is a superb pursuit now between Marion Clignier, a former American, against Rebecca Twig, who's been one of the greatest pursuit riders we've ever seen. And now they're neck and neck. The French really are on a high here in these championships. One gold already and a silver with Ermino. And Twig again nudging a little bit there, but still 0.165 of a second the gap. Time's really not important in the final. It's the one that gets round first, wins. It's a place pursuit. The object to catch your partner on the other side of the track, but that very rarely happens on a track this big. And Clignier, the crowd has gone a little bit silent, especially in the French quarter, because Clignier has gone out a little bit now. She may have made a play there to hold Twig to the one kilometre point. It's now gone back to almost half a second. Rebecca Twig, who really has found all of her old form, that gave her a first world title back in Great Britain in 1982. Then came the dip in her career just before the Olympics last year. She was back again. Let's have a look at the two kilometre time check. She's well clear now, 225.399. And Clignier hovering on that half second. But these sort of times, you know, are running the world record very, very close indeed. The world record is 3 minutes and 38 seconds. And in fact, the pressure applied by Clignier has kept Twig on a fast ride here. I'm sure Twig didn't come out to look for the world record today. But she's going to run it very, very close on these sort of schedules. And the crowd know it too. Rebecca Twig is now heading for the gold medal. She wanted it back. She's heading for her fourth, her fifth world title. And she's going to be close too to the world record in this last kilometre. She's now broken clear of Marianne Clignier and the times are telling the crowd that in fact Rebecca Twig is on a ride here. She hasn't altered her rhythm at all and there's the bell, one lap to go and there's time, there's time to beat it. 3 minutes 38 seconds is the world record time and Rebecca Twig is going for it. Clignier is out of the way and in the silver position, Twig is now going just as Graham O'Brien did for the title and the world record you can't get a nicer package than that and look at this 338 the time to beat 337 and the clock hasn't stopped the clock has not stopped but it looked like 337 when they went over the line the scoreboard will give the answer and there it is it's a record 337.347 a world record for rebecca twig and france in second place and it is Janie Eicott from the United States who gets third as they salute King Harold of Norway. <laughs>